Matty, are you dating? <laughs> when he eats, he like if he's enjoying it, he goes, mm. <laughs> <laughs> naked portraits of himself. So I was thinking about getting one of them. I'll so draw one then if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Tom here. Now, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm gonna to be doing a lovely Q&A with my work husband and synchro partner, Matty Lee. Yes, we won an Olympic gold together back in the day, well, I say back in the day, this summer, and I'm gonna be answering some of your questions. Now, I asked on Patreon, if you're a patron, then thank you for subscribing to my Patreon, and I'm gonna be answering every single question, or we are both gonna be answering every single question that was asked, and, if you, and I'm gonna be doing a select few of the Instagram questions that were asked, so you can see the full video of this, which is gonna be quite a lengthy one, on my Patreon, but for now, we're gonna get right into the questions, and I'm gonna call Matty, so here goes. Oh, we just going straight away. No, no, it's good, it's good. Although, one thing I will say is, obviously when this goes out, yeah. there's going to be a certain thing that the world is going to then know. And what is mm. it, where, like, where I, when people watch this, where, where are you? Uh, I'm going to be in Wales. And what are you doing in Wales? <laughs> I'm going to be uh, in uh, the castle. I'm going to be on I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of it. So, uh, so before we start, Everybody has to be Team Matty. It's official. He's won the Olympics and now he has to win. I'm a celebrity to get me out of here. So we have to give some Team Matty love from the get go, okay? Because we don't want to give any of the other contestants a, a chance. It's Team Matty all the way. We'll get to that in a minute. So I have loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of questions that people sent in, some on Patreon and some on Instagram. Obviously, there's a lot of questions and I'm going to try and get through every single one of them. We're going to get them done and get them through them. Okay, because we've right, got a yeah. Zoom call before it kicks us off. Okay, <laughs> question one from Sarah Rhiannon. What is your favourite thing to do together outside of training slash competing when you're away on a training camp or competition? I'd say um, we play cards. Yeah, no, we play uh, poo -ed. Brianna Arneman says, what is the most fun thing that you and Tom have done together outside of diving? Oh, it's like the same question, but not necessarily at training camps. When you taught me to watch Book of Mormon, um, oh yeah. Um, when... So basically for Matty's, Matty's birthday was in March and then I said, oh, I'm going to take you out for your 21st birthday. And then all of a sudden it was October and I said, okay, we're going to go for dinner. We have dinner at Bob Bob Rickard at five o'clock and we had training the next day, but we were like, oh, you know, we'll just have like <laughs> just one single cocktail. So we had one cocktail and then we thought, oh, you know, they have the minus 40 degree vodka shots. Let's have them as well. And then, so we did those and then. Yeah. We had more cocktails and then we had espresso martinis and then we went to watch the show and they gave us drinks there before the show, during the show, and the interval, <laughs> during the second part. And then all of a sudden we ended up in freedom, didn't we? And that yeah, was Yeah, it was it was a very fun, like one of my best nights in London today. It was very spontaneous, but it was fun. From Julie D, who says, Does Matty miss having his work husband at training? I do actually, a lot. Probably more than Tom even knows. Um oh would speak and see each other every day, pretty much. Even on the weekends when we weren't training, we'd probably be together. Now I've got to be what Tom was to me, to the younger athletes, and that, I kind of like that responsibility. Ashley Shepherd says, obviously you're the veteran, but what's something you learned from Matty? And that's a good question, because one thing I learned was from Matty is Matty is one of the slower people I've met. I mean, let's <laughs> take his time and everything is very, you know, so I think he's one thing he's taught me is to like slow down and kind of not rush everything and take my time a little bit more. Lisa Lynn says, did Matty find a big piece of art for his new flat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't yet. I did, I, I did think about getting, because um, Tom has port naked portraits of himself near his yeah. bed. So I was thinking about getting one of them, but I haven't yet. Seen, I'll draw one for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Kath Riona Keating says, is Matty doing synchro training with a new partner or is he concentrating on individual? Um, so I am um, concentrating on the individual and uh, trialling out Synchro with Noah Williams. Andrea Howell says, what was winning the gold medal with you like for from his perspective? Well, I mean, it was just almost like, just a, it almost was just, just didn't make sense in my head because obviously I, I, I grew up watching Tom get Olympic medals and then to finally get like the, the biggest and best one with each other, with my like, with my hero and with who, someone who inspired me during my career. It was just like, it was literally like a fairy tale, like genuinely. Natsuki, for Tokyo 2020, you focus on the synchro with Tom and congrats on the medal. If you had to choose, would you keep focus on synchro or rather focus on individual diving? 
I think I've got to try and now prove myself an individual. I'd like to do that and I know I can, but also still do synchro um, with with a new partner. And obviously if Tom decides to come back, then... I also we'll think in hindsight, you're, you're probably glad that, well, you know, at the time when we said to focus on synchro, it was a little bit annoying, but like now, obviously it worked. So it was kind of like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. literally. Vicky says, can you both share some quirks about the other person that you've never realized until you started your synchro partnership and sharing a room? <laughs> to be fair, when we first started going away, you never used to unpack, did you? You yeah, used to really, move out your really. suitcase. And then since yeah, yeah. Sharing, sharing room with me, we kind of, we were like, you know, first thing we do when we get there is unpack so that the room stays in some sort of like shape. But Matty's a bit of a um, nasal breather. When, when, you're, <laughs> when like, I remember when we were sharing a room in Japan at the World Cup and you were eating and like, you, and he, when he eats, he like, if he's enjoying it, he goes, hmm. <laughs> 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 like when he's eating you always are, you always are right like like even if you're not you're right and like it, it's funny like it just I, don't know, I believe you I'm like alright fan yeah Leah R says question for both what were your first thoughts after you won gold holy <laughs> that was mine WTF <laughs> I was literally about to say that that was my next one Annie Oddenhall says hi Tom and Matty a big congratulations on your Olympic win could you both please describe what you were feeling thinking on poolside watching the Chinese divers uh, dive their last dive and then waiting for the score to see who won i wish all the best for you both annie for me i remember watching it and just thinking they they've done it uh, they've done yeah. it and then i looked over to the judges and i saw one of the judges looked at me and went like <laughs> don't worry you got it you got and i was like oh no but how do you know because they don't know what the other judges have done and it was like a yeah it was terrifying i don't know about you yeah like you, I, I feel yeah you you were like no nah, they've done it like you kept like nudging me like they've done it they've like they've done it and I, for some reason in my head genuinely i didn't say up to you i don't think but i was like nah like i had literally i i knew i knew we won and i knew they came second like i i that wasn't an option we we didn't come second in my head they needed one more 10. if they've got one more 10 they would have had it okay next one aggie says which country has the best sweets because we've done lots of like i'll go do a little clip yeah, yeah. The, like the highlights of the things that we've tried around the world one two three Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Huh. Huh. You hear that? What the hell is that? Uh, who eats that? A bit dry. Very dry. It's like a rice cake. What is that inside? It smells like urine. No. <laughs> That's f***ing gross. And then now we're back. So what was what was your best? I, I know what my worst was. <laughs> what was your worst? Those pickled plums in Japan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I think I'm gonna say Japan. And I, I really like like not the pickled plums, but it was just a strange uh, variation of fun stuff. Okay, this is a good one. John Dillon, Matty, have you received any hate or teasing because your diving partner is gay? <laughs> when um, I came out, you did. <laughs> yeah, when when Tom came out years and when what year was it? Twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. Yeah, it's going to be eight years on December 2nd. Wow. Um, when Tom came out, I was away from school, from high school, um, at a competition in Canada. And for some reason, everyone just made up that I was away with Tom being gay. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and I came back and then I was just, I was just gay for everyone. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, right. Cheers. Um, right, here I am. But cool. Yeah. But not, not, not now. And and if I do, I don't even, I just don't even see it because I'm just like, it's childish. Like, stop it. <laughs> So Pia E says, how does Matty feel about being a fan of yours first and then becoming a close friend? Yeah, we were I, like, I was a, a fan as such, but at the same time, because I do what Tom does, like it, it's not weird. It never, it's not weird to be like that because obviously like you do look up to people in your own sport, in your own profession. Mm. Uh, what do you miss about each other now you guys don't train see each other a day? For me, it's the silly random things that you say that don't make any sense. And I laugh at <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's probably it's you probably just strutting your stuff like and just being goofy and loud and funny. Sandra P, Tom Nitz, what do you do for your mental health and to distract yourself from diving? Um, I like to spend time with friends and family, even though my family are in Leeds. But when I'm in Leeds, I like to spend time with my fa family. Um, and I like to, I've just bought a new PS5, so I like to play. I like to game a little bit. Melissa Renner says, "What is your guy's favorite dive to do?" I'd say 109. Yeah, I was going to say, 109 for sure. Like we four and a half, our it. last dive. Michelle H, Matty, what do you think your strengths are as a person? 
I'm an easygoing guy. Um, I like to get along with people. Uh, do you know my strengths? Like, what are your opinion um, on my strengths? I'd say Add your strengths. That. Your strengths are that you pay attention to detail. Although that means you can be a little bit slower. Paying attention to detail is good. <laughs> like you say, you're easygoing until you're not. <laughs> And then <laughs> Bruce Wolf says, does Lance get jealous or insecure that you spend so much time particularly naked around other attractive men who are particularly practically naked? And no, Lance just wants to join, honestly. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Bruce, a- another one from Bruce. I feel like uh, you really enjoy taking care of people in general. Robbie, Lance, Deb, Matty, etc. You seem like very much the nurturer. Do you miss taking care of or seeing Matty? Would you and Lance want him to move in with you so you could continue to guide and help him? <laughs> I mean, he's more than welcome to stay every now and then, but you know, I do like to think I'm a bit of a, a carer in that sense. Yeah, no, you are. And like, you always, you, we always mess around. Like I'm like the third part of the marriage. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's your, he's yeah. the third husband in the marriage. Matty, are you dating? No, I'm single. Single and ready to mingle. Kathy, Matty, what's the best perk you're, you've received since, because of being an Olympic champion? Not asking Tom, because he's been famous for ages, <laughs> but perks of fame. <laughs> Just been invited to like cool things like the GQ awards. That was that was lit. Uh, <laughs> Attitude awards. Uh, the James Bond premiere. That was like mad. And yeah. I guess like the opportunity to go and I'm celebrating because that is quite a big thing, and I'm I'm very excited for it. What is your favourite word? Wonder. <laughs> What's your least favourite word? Moist. Moist. I was going to say that. What turns you on? Eye contact. What turns you off? Being too loud and obnoxious. What sound or noise do you love? I don't know, like bass or like, um, <laughs> I don't know, like the boom, boom, boom. Bass. What profession would you, other than your own, would you like to attempt? F1 driver. Okay, what pro- possession, uh, profession would you not like to do? Pole dancing. Okay. If heaven exists, who is the first person after God and Jesus you would want to sp- see slash speak with? If I was to go now, uh, my granddad. Oh, that's sweet. When and how did he start diving? Uh, I was seven years old. How I watched my older brother, who's also called Tom, do diving. And the reason why he did diving is because my mum literally picked up a leaflet at the local swimming bath. First off, congratulations to you both on your gold medal. I have a holiday planned in, in August in London. Uh, what are your must-see places he recommends for visitors and any recommendations for vegetarian meals. I think Flatiron Square is a great place to hang out and chill. I love Caravan Bankside as well for a little bit of a brunch breakfast moment. I don't really get out much. Like I just, I, uh, the O2, Greenwich, North Greenwich, that's a lovely area. Uh, they had a great achievement when competing in Tokyo 2020 with the gold medal. Are you pre- already preparing for Paris 2024? I'm taking some time off, so no. I, I, I am. Uh, I train. I've already been training and then obviously now I'm currently isolating to go and I'm a celebrity. I'll go and I'm a celebrity and then I'll go back to training. So yeah, very much looking forward to 2024. Rachel Wright Newman says, my question is to you, Tom and Matty, how do you feel about going into a competition as individuals, both going for the gold medal? Oh, come on. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly had me one time at the World Series and then you landed on your back on your front foot. I know. <laughs> and, and if I didn't go through that, I don't think I would have been able to hold my own in the Olympics with you. Yeah, that's in true. The final. That's true. What are you fearing most about the I'm a Celeb journey? Uh, the eating challenges, eating like, I don't know, sheep's testicles and all yeah, that. Yeah, that's stuff. not going to be fun. <laughs> Doug Wombold says, Matty, are you planning on participating in the next Olympics? Yes. yes. Bob Rogers, any chance that Matty enjoys making videos as much as Tom does? Do you see an active YouTube presence in the future? I would love to. It's hard work. It's hard, Tom, it's hard work, isn't it? It is. It is hard work to keep up with it, and it takes a long time to like get going. Yeah. Like you have to like come up with ideas all the time. But it's you know it's, it's, it works. Sarah says, "How do you motivate each other when one of you is having a bad day?" I feel like sometimes with Matty, we just have to be like, "Yeah, come on, it's going to be all right," or kind of like leave him to fume, and then yeah, and it's hard to tell when Tom's having a bad day, but you just got to ignore it, and we just not we just need to get through the day as quick as you can because you just want to get it done and leave. And then your like therapy is going home to Robbie mm-hmm. and Lance. If you could compete in a Olymp- winter Olympic sport, what would it be? Uh, freestyle snowboard. What's your favorite thing about Lance and Robbie? Robbie is, he he's is, nut, he's got a look, yeah, he's a nutter. He's an absolute nutter. Well, Lance is Lance, he, he loves me. In my honest opinion, you're much more handsome without the beard. Oh, get away, Tom thinks that as well. <laughs> Kanesha Cole says, Tom, is, is Matty your favorite synchro partner you've had? Of course, thank, thank you. you. 
and I'll see you later. Yeah. Okay, bye bye, bye 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 bye. Oh my gosh, goodness, that was a whirlwind, wasn't it? Well, thank you very much for joining uh, that little Q and A. Literally, I've just answered every single question that was on that Patreon comment section, or at least said hello to everyone that was on the questions in the comment section in that particular time window. So. If you're not subscribed to my Patreon, make sure you subscribe and the patrons have gone, gone and had that whole video and the YouTube version is probably going to only be about 20 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit more about me and Matty. If you want the full version, head over to my Patreon and well, I'll see you over there. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to be having another Q&A with Lance very soon as well. So it's all happening, it's all happening. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Love to you all. Don't forget to subscribe and see you later.